Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about lookup data table activity. The main purpose of lookup data table activity is to provide a search for a value in a specified data table and returns the row index what is found. Let me elaborate a little bit. If you are going to provide any specific value, it will search for the value in the provided data table inside the data table and it will returns row index of the found cell. If the target column is set, then it will search in the particular value in the particular row only. This is actually we can say this will work as a V lookup in the Excel. First of all, we'll see the scenario in the Excel. If you see on my screen that I'm having student name, age, location and total marks. Let us assume if I'm going to provide a value Suresh and then I want to get the total number of marks. If I'm going to provide Vasu and I want to check out the location, then I have to get it the location. This is how we are going to get it in Excel that we will say it as V lookup. V lookup V stands for vertical. Now let me go ahead. Let me do that. Let us assume I'm going to give Suresh. So what is the output that I need to get it? If it is related to the marks, then I have to get 514. Okay. If it is Rekha, if related to the marks, then I have to get it 571. How can I go ahead and do that? Now let me show you that by using V lookup. Now I'm going to V lookup. If you see over here, I'm going to give the values over here. The lookup value, I'm going to give it the value, comma. You can see the table array. That is nothing but what is the table that you are going to take it. I'm going to take it, the entire table, comma. You can see column index. It is nothing but student name is 1, age is 2, location is 3, and total number of marks is 4. Now I'm going to give it as 4. I want to get it the value from the total number of marks. Now, if you see range of lookup, if you provide the comma, you can see true or false. It's an exact match or a little bit uh, average approximate match also is required. I'm going for the exact match. Now, let me go ahead by giving the value as false and then I'm going to click on enter. Now, you can see when I'm going to give Suresh, I got 514. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it to Rekha. Now, what is when I click on the tab, what are the marks that you want to get it? 571. You can see over here, this you got the marks. Now, if you see, I have given the Rekha that I got it 571 more. Now, let us assume for the Rekha, I'm going to use same V lookup. What I'm going to do, I want to get the location. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm just going to give the value, comma, and uh, the table which you want to specify. The index is uh, nothing but column index is 2, uh, that is 1. 2, 3, right? The column is 3 and the value I'm going to give it as exact match. That's the reason I'm going to give it as false. Now, if you see, I got the location as Bangalore. If I'm going to change Vasu over here, what will happen? The Chennai is coming. This is nothing but V lookup in Excel. Now, in the same way, what we are going to do by using UiPath Studio, we are going to use the same V lookup. How can we go ahead and do that? By using lookup data table activity. So please do remember you, have, you need to give the table as well as the value and the column index over there also. Let me switch to UiPath Studio. I have created a sequence with the name of lookup data table. And you can see by using Excel application scope, I have opening student Excel, and I'm going to read the entire uh, sheet one by using read range activity and I'm going to store that output in the var data table. Now if you see the variables I'm having var data table which I'm going to store it in read range activity. All right now first of all we'll go for the activities and then we're going to the programming under programming you'll find data table under data table you are having lookup data table. First of all let me go ahead let me drag and drop this lookup data table onto the panel. Now we will see the properties of the lookup data table. Now, if you see the input, the input is first the data table. That is the data table. What is the data table for the input? The output from the read range. That is var data table. Right? Let me select that. And now the lookup value. What is the value that you are looking for? Now in the sheet one, right? Now sheet one, I'm going to look for the Dave or I will say it's Vijay. I want to, I'm just directly giving the value over here, Vijay over here. 
I will let you know how to give this one also as an input. Okay. And you can see the lookup column, which column that you want to check for the, uh, you know, input and the output. All right. Now the data table is lookup and the column name is, uh, you can see over here, the column name is student name, right? This is the student name that what we have. Let me copy that. And I'm going to give the column name directly. I'm just giving the column name as student name. If you want, you can go ahead and you can give the column index also, right? Now I have given the input. One is data table and the lookup value. Another one is the column name. Now I want to get the output. First of all, the cell value. You can see I am having a uh, VJ over here. If I want to search some values over here, let me add some more over here. I have just added two more columns that is total marks and the location also. Now let us assume for the Vijay, I need location. Okay. Normally this is the Chennai, right? This is the output from the row. You can see that I have Chennai. I have to get as an output when I'm going to target a column is location. Now that is the same thing that I'm going to do. If you see that output cell value where I can store that value by clicking on control K, I'm going to set the variable by saying output cell value okay and you can see the variable as string it came and the row index row index also we are going to store it by clicking on control k that i will say output row index when you have specified the column name the target column whenever we have specified as location now let me go ahead let me give the location over here now let me explain you again. I am going to give the input as data table and lookup value along with that column name. The target column is that the location that the column name we have given it based on that, that I'm going to get the output that is cell value and the row index. Now what I'm going to do, if you see over here for the row index, I'm going to get it in integer format as a variable type. Now to display these outputs, what I'm going to do, I'm going to display in the message box now let me drag and drop this message box onto the panel now what i'm going to do in the message box i'm going to give output row index i'm going to plus sign i'm going to give concatenating with the spaces and i'm going to give location what is the location where we are going to store it in the cell value that is output cell value okay i'm going to add some more values over here like row num row index and i'm going to concatenate over here again and i'm going to give row index as what are the row that we are having and the location we are going to give it if you see i'm not going to give any kind of input i'm just directly going ahead and then i'm going to display in the message box and and the input has been given in the lookup data table directly the vijay name now let me go ahead let me run the bot Okay, if you see over here, I got this string to double. The reason is that the row index is an integer format, right? So I want to convert into two string. Okay, now let me go ahead. Let me convert it. If you see over here, the index is five. That is the row index is the five. And the Chennai location is Chennai. For Vijay, you can see over here, it is the Chennai, right? This is how row index, you can see over here, it will be starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is row index, but it's a normal I have shown on the roll numbers. So, but row numbers will be start from 0. That's the reason you got it Vijay as 5. Now, let us assume if I'm going to give the value as Vamshi, how it will work. Now, I'm going to the properties of the lookup and I'm just going to change it as Vamshi. Okay. Now, let me run the bot. Now you can see the row index is eight and the location is Hyderabad. Okay. Now this is how we are going to use lookup data table activity. Now I will show you one more thing. This value, what are the properties that we have? If you see, I'm going to give dynamically by using input dialog. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me go to the activities. Let me search for input dialog. Let me drag and drop into the, you know, do activity. Now, what is the title? Enter student name. I'm going to give it. And the output, I'm going to store the output in. What are the values that I'm going to have? I'm going to store in. Uh, that is output student name. I'm going to give it as. Let me click on enter. 
Now I'm going to give the same uh, title also for the label. Now let me go ahead, let me give the same label. Now let me run the bot. Before going to run the bot, what is the lookup that I have to change? That are the input for the, you know, if you see the lookup value, what is the lookup value? That is output student name. You can see over here, I'm just directly giving this input dialog over here into the lookup data table. Now let me run the bot. Now if you see over here, I have created a dialog box. It is saying in enter student name as a title as well as enter student name as a label. Now what are the name you are going to provide from the student name? It will search over there. I am giving as Hari. You can see Hari, the location is Bangalore. Let me click on OK. Now the location is row index 7 and the location is Bangalore. Okay, I hope you understand how to use lookup data table in this session. Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.